Hey there, entrepreneur. I'm talking to you. Have you seen the new version of Zoom? It's got some real wonderful features that are packed into it. A lot of things. We're going to highlight some of those for you today. And also, we're going to talk about one of the features that are there that has a word of warning on it. Be careful because if you do something on that one, you could run into some errors, but you could have some real good effects with the others. So that's what we're going to cover on this edition of Agorapreneurs. Welcome to Agorapreneurs, standing for liberty and freedom, all done peacefully. Now, here is your guide, Terry Brock. Hi, and welcome to Agorapreneurs. We're talking about the liberty and freedom lifestyle, living your life peacefully with non-violence and non-initiation of force and coercion, living your life as an entrepreneur, doing exactly what you want to do and being able to do it from just about anywhere. And Zoom is a big part of that. Most of us are using Zoom now, and we're finding that it really gives us a lot of capability. And there's some new features that can really help you in the new version. We're going to be talking about that. Some wow features, I like to call them that. This is Zoom 5.7.3. You're going to love a lot of those things in there, but I've got a word of warning and a caution on another area that's really important and that's the apps. You got to be aware of that. Not everybody's talking about that, but we're going to talk about those too and what they're available. The two things we want to cover mainly, immersive recording and reactions. These can give you a real competitive advantage and get away from those boring presentations. You know what I'm talking about there. The Zoom presentations that just Eh, not where they should be, but with the right way of doing it, which I'm going to show you in a recording I put together just a day ago, a couple days ago, you're going to be able to see how this is and really, really nice what you can do. This is Terry Brock. And I'm doing a test with Zoom's new version. This is version 5.7.3. And this is a version that came out July 19th, 2021. I am recording this now just a couple days afterwards, actually on the 20th, one day later. So we're going to find out what is happening. As you can see, I've got a real green screen behind me, a physical green screen that is there. And I want to see how this will work if we go in and try to uh, put in virtual backgrounds and things like that particularly with the immersive view, going into view in the upper right corner, then sliding down past speaker and gallery into immersive. Clicking on that, it shows me several different options that are available. I'm going to try one that I particularly like here that is in this new version. And there we go. I'm starting this one up here and it does seem to work pretty well. We're not getting a lot of that flanging and stuff around there. <clears throat> I'm getting something that looks pretty reasonable. Now you have to be careful because as I go outside a certain field, notice my hand kind of disappears and I'm getting a little bit of the green thing going on there. So it's uh, still there a bit. You really kind of want to keep your hands within the frame, the shadow of your body. So it's not moving around. Notice my microphone is there. I wonder what would happen if I'm, yeah, look what happens to the microphone. Not only does my sound go bad, but uh, it starts going ah, and it disappears. Ah, the green Mimi stole it. No, no, no. Okay. They do that often. You know, we got to watch out for them. Okay. We're going to change this to another immersive. Go over here and let's click on this. Here's a background that I constructed and it's me. I think this seems to work reasonably well. A little bit of the greening and the flanging going on, but this one can be particularly nice. Look how you could use this. Get a map, put your uh, website up there, or if you want to put terrybrock.com up there in your video, that, that's perfectly all right with me too. You can still do that because we're, we're open for business, but you see, as I point, look what happens. <laughs> so anyway, you can see what I'm doing there. That's good. And this could be a good way to do a, re a report. See, you've got a large enough frame there that you can move your hands around a little bit, and this can look rather professional. So, I mean, even like the grown-ups do it, okay? <laughs> it could be really nice, but this was uh, something that I constructed through Canva. You could do the same thing. And let's see, I'm going to go over here, change the immersive view again. I'm experimenting with some things. Here's one that we used before that was on uh, the original version and would not work without uh, using, uh, well, it just wouldn't work on there. But I can take this and I can move me over here. I can move over here. The ideal on this is you would bring in four other folks, get four other kids that you want to be brought in and you and four other kids have a great time on this moving around. And you can, of course, as the host, move them around as well. So that's a nice little feature. I'll go in here in this one and uh, uh, let's see what else can we do. Oh, here's one that I also constructed last Time. I demonstrated how this will work. This was constructed in Canva. I've got pictures of a chair, two chairs actually. Got this one here and that one. And you see, if I just remember that I need to look that way, if I'm talking to the other person, then I'll be okay. I'm talking to my right. So that uh, will work really well. Or I can move over here on this side, maybe. 
Let's see if I do that. There we are, something like that. Yeah, I think that could work. And there we are. And I could be, that's a little bit out of uh, a frame and reference, but something like this could be good. And down here on this larger black or brown uh, ribbon that's at the bottom, we could put in a logo, a message or messages, because we could take this, dump it out to an MP4 file, then go back and do some editing with another editor. So this has some real good possibilities. And you can see this is the effect when I'm using a real green screen, reasonable lighting. There's a little bit of green in there, and I think I probably need to touch that up some. And that's not so much Zoom's fault. It's more of what I would need to do and probably do some adjusting with my camera controls and the brightness. I would uh, want to go in there and start fiddling with it and see, okay, if I go into advanced here, I'm using uh, the camera control, camera settings, which is from Logitech for this. And if I adjust my colors, see here, I can take that all the way down there. Or I can make it really red and mad. And so I'm going to adjust this a little bit, auto white balance, doing some fun things with that, playing with it. I'm, uh, you would use this for whatever camera you have. There's some things like that. The contrast, let's see what happens if I take it to extremes. I find if you go to different extremes, it helps you to try and what's going on and then brightness that's probably the main thing we want to adjust right here and uh, i can see it now i need to move my logitech cam out of the way so i can see it a little bit better but i think i need to adjust this a little bit do some tweaking on it you know we're uh, just seeing this for the first time so i probably move that over here and that's okay not great uh, i'd have to fiddle around with it but with a little bit of fiddling we can probably get somewhere on this and do it i think the, the lighting is not too bad somewhere right about there it seems like it's going to be okay and uh, we can do that. Also, if I move in a little bit closer, that's too much. This is probably a little bit better and that will work. But uh, I think we've got something here that could be used. Although the other one that I looked at might have a much better uh, perspective. Oh, here's a new, uh, let's see on this one, which would be right here. There we go. And let's try this. There we are. This one seems to work even better. I think that's one of the best. We're just right here in the kitchen and let me talk to you. We're going to come uh, and talk to you that, or I can come over here and say, I move over something like, actually, let me move my camera over like this. There we go. And I can move over here and then move this over here, something like that and say, okay, here I am in the kitchen and wanted to talk with you about what's going on. Oh, it's not letting me move around too much, is it? It's kind of bouncing there and doing its own thing rather than obeying me like it should. There's computers. What are these computers coming to these days? I don't know. Anyway, here we go. I've got that in there. If I hold it, it'll be there. But as soon as I release it, it bounces back. So we'll see what it is. Or it kind of like it wants to go all the way over there or all the way over there. And in the middle where I want it, not doing too well. But, you know, we could do this, create an MP4 like this. And I make sure that I keep my hands within this range. Seems to be reasonably well working, working very well. And then over here, over on the side, I can't move my hand over there, but I'll just say over that way, <laughs> over that way more, I could put in graphics and uh, bring those in post, as we'd say, fix it in post. So that's an example of what you can do when you're using this recorded to the computer. Okay, so that gives you some options on what you can do with that new immersive. I would encourage you to take that and experiment with it. It's a great way to present, particularly you saw the one where I used the world map. Get a world map, put your logo up there, and you can make your picture a little bit larger. It has some great potential for really reaching out and getting a lot more done that way. So that's got some real good things. But then also the reactions are fun. There's a lot of new icons in there, a lot of good things that are available. Watch this video that I put together on the reactions, and I want you to start thinking about how could you use that to really add even more spazazz and value in the videos that you're doing. Hi, this is Terry Brock, and I want to talk with you a little bit about reactions. These are the symbols that are enhanced and improved, I think, a lot in the new version of Zoom, version 5.7.3. And I want to share some of these with you right now as I go in here and look at it. And I'm going to share my screen, click on this here, and turn it around, and then share. And so as I'm sharing my screen, you're going to see this right here below. Notice we've got some options here for using uh, various uh, functions here. I like these that are available, but I'm going to stick to the others right below that here, particularly when we look at reactions. So I'm clicking on reactions. And here, let me get this guy out of the way. 
move him over there and we're going to click on him over here. Notice here on reactions, I want you to take a look at that. We've got the items and the icons that we had before with a hand clap. So I can raise, do that and you notice over my shoulder over here, we have the clapping hands that stays up there for approximately 10 seconds, I think. I haven't timed it, but after about 10 seconds, there it goes, poof, it's gone. And uh, we can use that. So it's kind of nice. All these are here, but they've added something really neat on this second row down. Notice over here, we do have the Yes, we have the no, slow down and speed up, but also the brand new enhanced coffee cup that says I'm away. So if you've got to take care of some <clears throat> other matters and you need to leave the Zoom meeting temporarily, that's a good way of letting people know you're away and you're not available right now. I think that's a good thing because sometimes somebody will leave and we don't know, are, are they gone? Is she coming back? Is he going to come back or not? What's going to go on here? Well, but if that's there, can kind of be a, a mutually agreed upon symbol that, okay, I'm away for right now, but I'll probably be coming back a little bit later. So that's nice. And I think there's another one even nicer that I really like. And it's over here. This one is really good. If you like to have those emotions and the emojis and all that on there, really, really nice. And don't tell any of the grownups about this one, okay? Because we don't, we don't want them knowing about it. But here it is. I click on that and look at all these emojis that come up. Yeah, I can pick these up and move them around everything. Like I can put in some of the, uh, the sunglasses. I like this one right there. That's kind of cool. And over here, I think they've tied into emojis Web website so they can put in there uh, other things. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's one that's really good. Uh, and so all of these little emojis used the right way and done uh, appropriately. It can be very, very good putting some uh, different symbols up on the screen. I think that can be good. Use it as a way of being creative. Think about how you could use something like that and be even more creative in what you're doing. And by the way, notice also it disappeared after I think about 10 seconds or so. So these are the emojis and the reactions that are here within the new version of Zoom. Kind of nice. And you'll want to take a look at that and see how it works. So then there are some really good options there. This gives you a competitive advantage in a world where everyone is using Zoom. You want to stand out in a favorable way by doing it the right way and using some of the creativity there, you can do a lot. Now, talking about what is in there, they put in something I think is wonderful. It's called the apps. And the apps give you the ability to do a lot. But I have to issue a caution and a word of warning. Because when you do this on most of the apps, you need to make sure that the Zoom administrator of your account is the one who says, yes, you can use this. Now that means you're not gonna be able to get everything right away and you've gotta look at where you are. If you have a small organization, say the enterprise version, and a few people are using it, then that could work out pretty well. But if you've got a much larger organization, I know for instance, a lot of my friends in the National Speakers Association working with a group where that we have literally probably thousands, hundreds or thousands of people there, that means that each time you see a new app, it has to be approved by the ad Admin. And in some places, they just say, blanket, no, we're not going to do it for everyone. But when you look at what's available, well, it's pretty amazing. Here it is. I'm over here on the place where you can go. This is on marketplace.zoom.us. And what they've done is they put in some really incredible applications that are there. Some of them you might not have heard of. Like, for instance, here's one with LTI Pro. I don't know what that is, but it has some nice features, I'm sure. Obsidian Security. Well, that's good if you're in that particular marketplace. But others that are available, like a Bright and Slack. This could apply to a lot of people and it gives you the ability to tie that in directly with Zoom. Definitely look into the apps, but be aware you've got to get administration approval from the person who's running your app, your Zoom account. So I think there's some good things there. It's just that it's not all sunshine and rainbows and unicorns. Make sure that you're getting it approved and then you'll be able to do a lot more. So the new version of Zoom, this has some real potential. As an entrepreneur, you want to look into it. Look at what is available. And if you need some help on that further, hey, we do a lot of help with others, a lot of coaching. Let us know. Terry at terrybrock.com is how you can get in touch with me. I am looking forward to hearing your comments. What do you think of this new version? Leave a comment below where Wherever you're getting this, whatever platform it's on, and then we will look at uh, other options in the future. And if you say, hey, I like that, and I want to know a little bit more, let us know also what we can do to help you out. I'll look forward to hearing from you. 
Thank you very much for joining us today here on Agorapreneurs. We're all about your freedom, liberty, and being the entrepreneur that you are, reaching out to achieve the goals that you want. Whether you're an entrepreneur on your own, or maybe operating within another enterprise or organization, whether you're a solopreneur or part of a much larger enterprise, we are here for you to help you get the skills and the technology, the right thinking of mind, right frame of mind, how to increase your connections, building those relationships in business that matter. Don't don't forget, we've got the 5K program, help you in creating content, no charge to you. You go over and you can look at that at terrybrock.com slash 5K, notice the K is lowercase, and you'll be able to get that information, no charge, and you'll also be able to sign up for the newsletter that we send out of the Agorapreneur's Power Report, so you stay right up to date on what's going on. And if you need to reach me, my email is the best way to get in touch with me, terry at terrybrock.com. Hey, thanks for being with me today. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.